Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So Leonardo DiCaprio was caught lying about the last time he partied with Diddy. They all scared. They all scared right now, and they are trying to distance themselves from him. But it's too late. It's too freaking late. He has distanced himself from Diddy after a picture of him at one of Diddy's notorious, infamous white parties emerged. Look at these pictures. Look. All the way back from 1998. And look at this one in 2004. Diddy was in love. Look how he's cheesing at Leonardo. This is the look of a man who's in love with you, who's feeling you. This is how they look at you. Listen, if your man don't look at you like that when you're not looking, he doesn't love you. <laughs> Ladies, listen to me. If you never catch your man staring at you like this and you're not looking, you need to start questioning his love because this is the look of love. This is the, yeah, I did that. Yeah, I pulled that. Yeah, that's all mine. No, that's all mine's. <laughs> Look how he's looking at him, though. He's like, yeah, wait till this party's over. He's like, gotta get you home with me tonight. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ooh, Leo. <laughs> okay, so a source close to Leo said he had not had anything to do with Diddy for years. Yeah, right. Is that why Diddy said you were his number one person on his invitation list for the white party? Yeah, Diddy said Leonardo was his number one person on his invitation list for his white parties. A source close to Leo says Leo has not been in contact with Diddy for years, saying he never attended freak-offs and has nothing to do with the case. Leonardo DiCaprio has absolutely nothing to do with any of this. He attended a few of his parties back in the early 2000s, but literally everyone did. You see, when they start talking about everyone did, they are nervous. Focus, Leo. We don't care about everyone right now. We're we'll talking about Leo DiCaprio right now. They were not freak-offs. They were big house parties. Leo was at the start of his career at the time and has moved way past his partying. He has nothing to do with any of that world. So for anyone to assume that he will get roped into this based on a few granny photos that are more than 20 years old is ridiculous. Oh, uh, really? Oh, Leo was seen dancing at Diddy's 50th birthday celebration in 2019. Hmm, is that 20 years ago? It's 2019, 20 years ago. Why lie? When there are pictures of you in 2019 at Diddy's birthday bash. And you know what else is crazy? Diddy did an interview with Vogue magazine in 2018. And he revealed that Leo was his favorite party guest. Why is that, Leo? Why are you Diddy's favorite party guest? And why did Diddy declare you as the number one person on his invitation list for his infamous parties, Leo? I mean, of all these A-listers who attended his parties, you are his number one on the list. I think I know why, but I'll let Diddy tell it. MTV out. Savage! I'm a savage! Oh! I'm a savage! Whatever I want, I'm going to get! Whatever I want, I have to get! Who's the person that's number one on that invitation list? Leonardo DiCaprio. And I can get on that list, yes, right? Yes, without a doubt, you are invited. That is so generous of you. Cheers to that. See you at the white party. Yeah, whatever Diddy wants, he has to get. Including Leonardo. Roseanne said it best. You know, Hollywood, everybody's gay as hell. Ask me. Ask me who's gay, I'll tell you. Just ask me, I'll tell you. 
Did he? Oh, they're all gay as hell. I always knew they were gay as hell, too. That's Hollywood for you. You notice when Diddy was asked the number one person on his white party invitation list, without hesitation, he turned to face the reporter and said, Leonardo DiCaprio, wow. Let me tell you, Diddy loves white chocolate. This guy loves white men, okay? He is obsessed with white men. Yeah, he slept with everyone. He slept with black, white, men, women, you name it. He's a sex demon, so he'll sleep with anybody, everybody. But he loves white men. You guys don't get it. He's obsessed with white men. He gets his validation from white men. Okay? So anyway, did you guys hear about Diddy's D-R-U-G dealer who revealed what he witnessed when he went to Diddy's house? Well, he said Diddy opened the door while wearing nothing but a white robe before leading him through to a back bedroom to make a cocaine deal. You'd see two people you would not think would be hooking up. Rappers. That was what shocked me, the dealer said. I won't say names, but there were rappers that I immediately lost respect for and could not take seriously ever again. The dealer added that many of the high-status attendees, which also included a mix of female stars, were high on ketamine and GHB. B. He said that was when I got the F out of there. Wow, you have dealers speaking out. Oh, wow, this is just crazy. Look how freely everyone's speaking out now. They should have done that a long time ago. But, hey. um, So, you guys, what are your thoughts on Leonardo DiCaprio lying about, oh, the last time he party with Diddy was 20 years ago when there are pictures showing him at Diddy's birthday party in 2019. Why do you think he's lying? You think he got something to hide? I do. Because Leonardo, he likes them young girls. This guy is 49 years old and he's only dating girls who are like 19, 20, 21. 23, under 25, pretty much. And that's weird. You know, and there's always been rumors about him, you know, being on the low, you know, liking men. And he used these young model girls as a cover, right? But he's really, really a homosexual. Always been rumors. Always been rumors about him. So... The feds definitely need to ask him questions because these Hollywood men, they are sickles, man. They are sickles. Diddy is not the only sickle. They all are sickles, a bunch of sickles. They hang together. They run in the same circles. So, yeah, you guys leave your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.